Hey guys, it's uh, still Happy Monday. Cheers, drinking water. So that's also a problem of mine. I talked about the water in my last video. I also have like massive hair today. Um, we're doing some pictures. Um, anyway, I, uh, I can sometimes tend, I don't know if you guys do this, I can sometimes tend to start off strong as far as hydrating and then I, um, the day gets ahead of me and unless I have like, if, unless I make sure I've got like a water bottle or a big glass of filtered water with me, I will forget. Incidentally, I need to make sure I take my, whatever that is, collagen for tight skin. I think that's what it does. I really have no idea. I just do what I'm told. Anyway, um, there were a couple of things that I didn't mention in my last video that I said I wanted to. So one of them is, well, first let me do what's here and then I can get it out of the way. These, uh, oh, there was a note on the back. Um, the folks that, do you see that? Crazy Compression sent me some socks, which y'all know I like to use compression it's taken me so long to get accurately diagnosed with my um, calves, ankles, Achilles, whatever the hell it was. Um, but compression is obviously a good thing, whether you're runner, crossfitter, or whatever, for before, during, and after, depending on what your focus is. But it's also fun to have uh, colors. I mean, honestly, like one of my cool goals for, um, uh, I can't talk, I need to have lunch soon. One of my goals is I want to wear really fun shorts and these socks, kind of socks, uh, some of those cool Reebok shorts, yeah, and socks and like uh, a tank top thing and be owning my core. That's the goal. But anyway, they sent me these really fun, check them. So they're compression, but with all these wild, crazy patterns. So I will be wearing some of these, but definitely go to their site. Thank you, Crazy Compression. Thank you, Crazy Compression, for sending me. Oh, you can use uh, the code Crazy25 for 25% off. Easy to remember, just thinking I'm crazy. Um, so there's that. The other thing I mentioned in one of my last videos, and I just thought I would show you, is how one of the things I used to do um, at my old house that was ridiculously effective in keeping me personally accountable and just keeping kind of in my head, like, what am I, um, you know, what have I worked out this week? And, and when you know you're on a roll, it's easy to keep going, right? When you know you're off of a roll, it's easy to um, keep going that way. But one of the simplest things that I did that was always um, just a motivator and an accountability factor for me was to just get a calendar. I just got this at Walmart when I was there for like five or six bucks. But I put this calendar up. Uh, in my old house, I did it right inside my bedroom closet so that, you know, I'd finish my workout and I'd go put my dirty clothes in the hamper and then I'd record what I did. So, like, it's just a visual. I don't know if you can see this, but every day, so in the morning, you know, I'll write down what I did, which is usually cardio. I'm doing cardio like I did all of last year at the gym now, though. Um, cardio, I put in between one and five stars, like one would be, I sucked, maybe I did 10 minutes or something. Five is like killer, killer, the best workout ever, sweat fest. A um, couple of days, like if I, I think there were a couple of days where that's what the day I got sick. Um, but I also record things, like so that I can look back on when was I making the most progress, when did I suck or whatever. But also things like, okay, see here? I don't know if this is glaring or not, but like I wrote down early February. That's when I was in Atlanta on that trip and I got no sleep and I really didn't get my workouts in. And the more that you're aware of that or I'm aware of that, that way I can look at my calendar for February and as I'm writing down my workouts the rest of the time, I'm remembering like, hey, this is not a stellar month when I already missed four days. Um, those are the types of things like if you're not, in my opinion, if, if I'm not giving myself a visual, it's easy to forget. I remember when I told you, sorry, I have a canker sore on the inside of my tongue. It's easy for me to start to get sick. If I just get rest, I can get better, but getting a canker sore is usually the sign that my body's like, I'm gonna get a cold if you don't behave. Um, but anyway, um, 
the first uh, couple of years after, remember I said this to you guys several times, first couple of years after I turned 40 and um, I had the whole perimenopause situation, which back then was not diagnosed, but um, I, in my head, you know, I was going, I don't understand, I'm eating right, I'm working out, you know, why am I, it's impossible for me to lose weight. Well then when I really started to, it was my mom that had a conversation with me one time and she's like, are you really doing everything you used to do? And I'm like, well, of course I am. But then I started to like go home and go, well, wait a second. And I would mentally went back and I'm like, where was I? And, and I was traveling a lot for business. And I would remember things like the Atlanta trip where, you know, I had the best of intentions. I'd bring my resistance brands, I'd bring my um, TRX, I'd bring my workout clothes, my polar heart rate monitor. But just because you pack your workout stuff doesn't mean you burned any calories and did the workout. So the more that I started to look back, I realized, okay, I can't say that I'm doing 100%, you know? You can't complain about the results that you're not getting if you're not really doing everything you can, you know? Like, um, that's why I'm so um, adamant about, you know, the first two months of 2014, not real happy with it. We started off the year with some crazy weather, and that was just a mental thing. I wanted to be in the gym. Lots of crazy weather the first week, and um, I don't know. If, I don't think I bought this calendar till the end of January, so I don't think I was really recording. I started recording on January 20th. Um, looks like I did pretty good the end of January. I mean, that's sometimes too, you know, you can look back and go, okay, but here's the other thing. When I look at most of February, now remember, Here's, okay, my trip to Atlanta, then I came home, and then I got the food poisoning, so I was out for three more days, and then I started getting back, but you know, um, and, and on the days that I felt really sick and nauseated again, I wrote down what I did and why I felt sick or whatever. But all that said, I can now look at February and go, okay, what's good about February? You know, um, I, I had X amount of workouts out of an ideal, if there's 30 days or 28 days, Ideally, I'd like to say I had 30 workouts, or for you it might be 15 workouts, or for somebody else it might be 45 workouts, whatever you do, if you work out twice a day, whatever your goals are. But now I can look and go, okay, got plenty of my cardio in. Weight training, not so much. And that was one of the things towards um, even last summer. I was still, I definitely see results with my body when I, I've definitely got to have cardio. That's just what I know about my body. But on the other hand, um, one of the things that I tend to let fall to the wayside or not realize that I'm not doing as much, does that make sense? Unless I have a visual like that, I don't realize that a week can go by and maybe I've done two lifting sessions or whatever. And, and it has to be for a week and it has to be heavy and that's when I really make progress on my body and you know muscle gains and, and fat loss. Um, so. That's another good visual for me to keep a calendar like this is I can really look back and go, this, I, we've got to take it up a notch. If I really want to be successful in March and April, that's got to be the difference. So my goal is to be the end of April showing you guys that look, this is what I said um, on March 3rd and here's what I did in March and April and ideally the results should match. It's all about tracking, but for me just having a calendar and right now in this house, I put it right inside the garage by my laundry room. So when I get in from the gym, I immediately take my pen and I record it right there. So there's that. So I told you about compression socks, I told you about that. And then the other thing is, I showed you a peek about these before, hold on. Um, but I really, really love, and I'm just blown away. So remember I told you that the people from Apera, I hope I'm saying that right, Apera Bags, sent me this bag. And I mistakenly called it um, the, performance stuff, but apparently what they did is they sent me by accident the yoga bag. So I, first of all, I want you to see, this is a sizable bag. This is the smaller bag, okay? I, I don't know if they reached out to me or vice versa, but I remember going to their website. Oh my God, it's a freaking canker sore. If I'm talking like this, that's because of my tongue. Um, I remember that I was like, oh, it's a gym bag, you know. How many gym bags do we all have? I've used duffel bags, I've used everything to take my crap to the gym. But the thing is, once I looked at this website, I was like, oh, it's a bag. Oh, you know, I mean, I was like, no big deal. They have a video of each one of the bags. And then I looked at the, um, 
um, what's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> features, I guess features, features and benefits, if you will, um, in that, and again, I hope I'm showing you this correctly. So like, this is the, the performance stuffle that they sent me, because they were like, oops, we sent you the yoga bag. The performance stuffle is even bigger. So can you see that? I actually have to back up. And it's waterproof on the bottom. So hello, how many of us go to the gym and you set this on the counter? Like typically what I do is I get to the gym, put my, um, my, my uh, uh, coat in the locker, lock everything up, and then I go over, probably use the restroom, come out of the restroom, wash my hands, but my gym bag is sitting on the counter. And the counter is typically wet. So if it's a regular gym bag and it doesn't have the waterproof bottom, you're gonna have water and then you're, the bottom of your bag is gonna be wet. Um, but here's some of the things that I love. Now you gotta go to their site, AP, this is how, this is how you, how you spell it, okay? And, and you can watch the videos, but, and I hope I'm saying this. Well, I can probably read this. Our bags are designed with you in mind, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, see, now it's not gonna show you on this. They, they have a waterproof bottom, this one does. Now, the bottom of the yoga bag does. What I also like is it stands up. So when I set this on the counter, it's not like other bags where it's just falling over and it's cloth. It stands up, kind of like a suitcase. And then the other thing is, so here's the yoga bag that I've been using. So it's got, you know, carry this over the shoulder, which is adjustable. Then it has these, so when I'm at Lifetime and I want to put this in my locker, I can hang it in there and it fits perfectly. Now on the side, I haven't figured out what half this stuff is for, but they've got all these little hangy things, so, you know, if you have a key for your lock, you can hang it there. Really nice big pockets on the outside, and then there's multiple pockets inside each pocket. So this is where I typically put my cell phone and my um, iPod. Um, you know, all kinds of like, can you see this? Clips and things. And then on the inside, now again, this is the yoga bag. On the inside, it's vented, so everything's um, antimicrobial. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But do you see this, how you've got, you've got your um, pouch here? So I will take, you know, this is me. I've got my post-workout for um, lifting. My pre, this is my aminos, right? But you can put it in here, and it's not gonna tip over. You see that? It's really hard to see. But you've got compartments, so I can put my shakes in there or, or whatever, and it's not gonna spill over. I mean, have you done that before where you've had all of your stuff in a bag and it's gonna jostle and spill and whatever? Smaller um, zippers on the inside. I put things like my lip balm. Got my lip balm in there. I've got my gym card, I hope. Oh, there it is. Put my gym card in there in the little zipper. Um, so anyway, it's really designed. Now this, I thought, again, I thought they sent me the, this bag, but, but they didn't. They had sent me the yoga bag. So this is the performance bag, which if you watch the video for the performance bag on their site, you know, they've designed it so you, if you're bringing like your iPad, I remember I was like, how cool is that? Your iPad doesn't have to like, if you're using your, your iPad, I have a lot of um, training books, like one of them by Brett Contreras, I think, that has, you know, um, glute workouts and stuff, so it's on my Kindle which I will bring my iPad, but you know, you don't want your iPad jostling around and you don't want your phone like hitting stuff. It's just, they've really kind of thought of any, everything. And what I love too is that the bags stand, they're, they're antimicrobial, so it's not gonna make it all sweaty and stinky. This one has, I don't even, I really don't know <laughs> what this is for, but I have to believe it's there for something. And I bet if I watch the video, I'll go, oh, that's what it's for. Extra zippers on the outside, probably, oh look, you know, you can put your sweaty stuff in here after a shower, and then it's vented. So I'm really impressed every time I stop with these bags um, and I set them down at the gym, people are like, nice bag. And I'm like, totally different than other bags I've seen. And again, I have bags from quite a lot of brands, but none of them stand up like this. None of them have all of the pockets that they've really thought about what people bring to the gym. They're more like, oh, cool bags with a logo and color on it. So I'm very impressed. Um, you'll probably hear more about them for sure coming up in uh, Fitfluential on fitfluential.com. So make sure you're a member so you can sign up and get really cool discounts and perks and giveaways and all of that. But that said, 15 minutes, I'm into it. I gotta go. I think my last two videos, I talked about pretty much everything I needed to today, but I do have to actually work today. 
and I actually need, uh, I need to get to um, Walmart because I need groceries. And uh, that's that. So um, I think I talked about everything. I took my supplements this morning, no stomach ache. I made sure I drank my water, so no nausea. I had a great workout at the gym, um, and I'm gonna go back and we're gonna do legs tonight. So very excited, taking my uh, progress photos every single day, so I'm making sure I have progress photos that I can uh, compare, um, and that's that. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I wanted to say more tomorrow, but it came out tomorrow, so whatever, I'll talk to you then. <laughs>